Reporting from the Q Television Center with news from your region. We are the first for news that matters to you locally, regionally, and nationally. This is QTV News. Good morning. This is the Lifestyle News brought to you by QTV. I'm James Devlin. There are hopes that the FLA will return to Derry after the success of this week. It's the first time in its 63-year history that the festival has been held in Northern Ireland. At first, it was thought that the traditional music event would attract 300,000 visitors to the city. It's now thought the figure will be closer to half a million. A planning application has been submitted to build more than 127 new social housing homes on the site of the former St Peter's School in Craigan. Housing executive statistics in July revealed that 3,331 people in the city were on the social housing waiting list and of that number 2,200 were homeless. It's the highest number of people on the homeless list in the city over the last 20 years. There are also 350 people currently in temporary accommodation. It's hoped that these houses will help to alleviate the problem. And 33,000 students are finding out their A-level results today. Northern Ireland students have performed particularly well in subjects such as mathematics, chemistry and modern languages. 98% of entries achieved a pass grade that's similar to last year. There's been a small decrease in the percentage of students achieving A-star and A-grades. Well, that's the latest. Stay up to date online with Lifestyle and listen to Q Radio. Good morning.